do you think anybody else there is I was doing myself, their financial accounting? I asked myself that wrestling. question and I put that out on I put that out on Facebook. There is literally no one else in the world who has ever done that. I don't think ever, 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 ever. And you know, and and I went in and had like the best time. You know, like all in. Like I don't ironically like wrestling. Like I like wrestling. You know, or like our um. You know, like stuff that that's like my favorite favorite stuff in the world. Like, and what other dumb stuff do I like? I like going to um, um. Like, I love like immature bratty like punk music. Uh, you know, like, I love that. Um, but what 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 else? I, name me some dumb things. I'll tell you if I like them or not. SpongeBob. No, I I. I I didn't get into SpongeBob just because it's just like um, the age gap. Like I'm sure I would have liked it. There you are know? things that miss generations. Just yeah, like I don't get South it. Park. I, I watched. I've watched one episode of South Park ever. I should. I need to watch it. You can't watch one of anything. That's yeah. what I think. I watched the watch first straight. episode. I was like, I don't get this. This isn't for me. I need to try it again. I hate Family Guy. Yeah, Fa- family, family Guy. Is stupid. Family Guy is just. Oh my god, that is just like not comedy. That's like just, but so bad. But what is interesting in Family Guy is the amount of references that they cram in. It's just references, though. Right, but it's it's like you're playing like reference bingo. How many can I get? Yeah, and I, I hate reference bingo. But I don't need reference bingo. So you don't like any shows with reference bingo? No, I like I. It's just it's so much. Re- it's it relies on references more than punchlines. Yeah, it does. It, it the the yeah. ratio became yeah. really off. And he, here's here's a um, um, quote unquote smart comic I don't like is John Stewart. I'm not much of a Daily Show fan. Huh. I, I I get why people like him. So much of his show just be, wasn't jokes. It was just like this is my parody of John Stewart is I can't believe what this politician or person on the news said now yeah. and just <laughs> furrowed his brow and then he'd be like I can't believe it and just get like applause from people like that's not it's we call it a plauster in comedy when you just when you do something to get applause hmm. rather than to get a laugh see i don't think i don't think he's a comedian i never did i thought he's he was a, a satirist he's a, a he's great at he is great at like media criticism right but then when he's challenged on it he doesn't he's all oh, a comedian it's like well no just uh, you're not because if like just be just say you're a critic a media critic well i like yeah. him but i do agree with what you say he falls back and goes you know he will fall back and go don't punch me in the face i'm a comedian you yeah know? yeah and it's comedians. like and, it's like well just you know like you he you know it's just a balancing act. he's excellent he's like he's excellent at pointing out the the hypocrisies of Anything of anything, like yeah. he's an expert at it, but maybe not like the joke construction part of it, right? Um, w- what's your? F- but what's it's crazy because his his stand up is like his non political stand up was is really good. What's really your funny. favorite um, old comedy show? Old comedy 60s, show, 60s, 70s, 60s, 70s. Um, Give me a couple. So I was born in seventy seven. Okay. So Mary Tyler Moore, I love. That's what Perfect I was going to say. Perfect show. That's Perfect what- show. Perfect after cast. she after she passed away, I went on a Mary Tyler Moore YouTube binge watch, and we all grieved. Different. The clown, the death of Mister uh, Peter Ch- Peanut, Chuckles with, the clown, Chuckles the clown, and Peter Peanut got peeled. <laughs> yeah, is like so good. It's so good. Um, I love 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 Bob Newhart. Oh yeah. my god, Bob Newhart is he would be right underneath Steve Martin and and Bill Murray for me, and it's crazy because he's the master. He's still understated. understated comedy, and I cannot. I am not understated in my comedy. Like, did you watch all of his shows, Bob and Newhart? I've and watched that? a lot of the '70s show. Not as that was my parents' favorite show, but then the '80s show. I I grew up watching that '80s show with like cousin Larry, Daryl, Daryl. Did and, you see the end of that one? The it's the greatest episode? ending of a sitcom ever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I went to the inn in Vermont. Oh, okay. I went like um, my friend was living in. Um, my friend went to Dartmouth, and she was living up there. And I, my joke is just like, anytime we drove past like a B and B, I was like, man, if there's only if there, if, I wonder if the manager there is a, a cold, cold man with a dry sense of humor. Yeah, it's like I was like, I wonder does every, <laughs> and then she was like, that's actually that's actually the Airbnb they based it on. So I had to go there. I had like breakfast. There. It was awesome. I was like. So happy to to go to it. I love Bob Newhart so much. What other shows? 
Um, early. What other sixties and seventies shows would I like? Huh. That's a great question. Really, really great question. Oh, I. I mean, I, when I was a kid, I have no idea if it's good or not. But the Monkeys TV show was so silly. It was fun, and it, it was, was so silly. I don't know that silly. it was good, but it was fun, and it was Pro- silly. Probably, I mean, I watched it when I was, like, 10. Yeah. So I have no idea how it holds up, but, you know, like, I really did like the Monkeys TV show a lot. I thought that was re- – I really liked Happy Days. I got really into Happy Days in college. I don't know if that was a comedy. It's so much of it was comedic. It was – it, it Maybe was, not a co- – great characters, though. Yes, yes. It's like uh, one of – like, the Fonz is still, like, maybe the most iconic TV character of all time. It, back then, it was huge. The uh, – what about, like, Cheers? And I when love they Cheers so much. Generation. There's a huge Ted Danson rebirth the past three years, too. See, I didn't think he was the best thing on Cheers. He – he. I, I mean, he might I, – I, everyone is great on Cheers. Yes, yes. Everyone – but he's – there's a new show out called The Good Place. Yes, uh, and, I've seen ads for it. And I just started watching it. And ironically, I don't watch TV. I, I just started – I just watched the first episode and he's in it. And I'm like, this show is – this show has got a lot of legs to it. This is a really brilliant conceit for a TV show. Like I thought Frasier was a better show. I never, I didn't really get like Frasier too much. Frasier is one of those things that had like the NPR chuckle for me. Yes, yes, it did. Yes, it did. And if it was making making fun of people like that, I'd be into it. But it was kind of like you have to looking at seriously. You have to identify with people like that, and I'm like, I'm not like that at all. Yeah, and I, I I agree with you on that. I mean, I don't mandate like it's not a requirement to get through the door that you laugh at fart jokes, but I need to know that you have the capacity, yeah, to do that. You're willing because there's something when you laugh like that that you're there's a a bearing of your soul that we're all brought down to the same level where there's no difference. It's race. Maybe the green. funniest video on YouTube is Kelsey Grammer falling off a stage. <laughs> <laughs> there's a video of him doing some speech somewhere, like performance. It's really pretentious and boring. And then he just falls off the stage. Why is it funny for us to watch somebody? It's not funny well, to watch someone but, fall. But we're off laughing, stage. talking it's about funny somebody to watch Kelsey Grammer fall off the stage. <laughs> no, but there's, there's oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh oh hold. That's like it's so good. Well, there's like I saw some video where a guy's being interviewed, and his chair is slowly breaking under him. Oh, that he doesn't so realize great. it, and he just flips backwards eventually. And your first response is you break out laughing, like not oh my god, is the guy okay? Because I assume yeah. he's okay because it's on YouTube or whatever. But I, I love like news. I love bloopers so much. It's like ridiculous how much I love like news bloopers. Like anchor, like but maybe my favorite. The bloopers are sometimes better. Oh my god, yeah, they're always my favorite. One of my favorite like local media moments ever was during some storm we had, one of the hurricanes where everyone panicked and you're home for work for the day kind of thing. I had on Action News the whole day. And, um, like, first of all, I think Jim Garner was doing shots the whole time off camera because he was, like, so – he was so entertaining. And then um, whoever – I think it was Cecily (laughs) – Cecily Tynan and whoever was the other guy, the other weather guy, they didn't know that they didn't know the mic was still on. And she started, she, she was just like, this guy, he doesn't know. Well, like she just started in on him and the mic and like the mic was still on. And me and my wife were watching that like, this is the best thing. This is so great. And then when they came back, Jim Garner was like, look, we're we're a family to action news. Sometimes <laughs> like, he was like smoothing it over. I was like, this is I could watch this. Or then on uh, KYW, what are the odds that this show is going to air right with an interview with her? Oh, it's I know. Gonna, you the mentioned random it before. Odds that, that <laughs> you, 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 have to, you should ask her about it. I, think, I don't know if it was Adam Joseph or who it was. But, yeah, it might have been Adam and Joseph. And then another great one is um, Carol Erickson. He used to be on KYW. Right. Um, she and the um, – there's like a I – don't, I don't know her name, but she's like a, she was like Miss Pennsylvania. And then she became a news anchor for KYW, and she co host like Carol Erickson did weather, and this lady did was like the news anchor. And there's like eight minute YouTube cut of them fighting on air. It's so, and it's like the funniest thing on air. And it's just like, and she's like, oh, of course, Carol, of course, Carol, like you would know that because you know everything there is about drinking before work. <laughs> she says like something like terrible like that. But like, why is that funny? What it's. It, it's so. Is it because it's out of character? Because they're wild, breaking the act. It is so wildly inappropriate. It is so wildly 
not what you're expecting to see, and is it is all I want to see. But it's got to be more than wildly inappropriate. I remember having an incident years ago where a guy had gotten away, and he was running down the street, and I came around to where he was to stop him, and they neglected to tell me he was buck naked. Wildly inappropriate. Not funny at all. Not funny at all. <laughs> I don't know. I think I think maybe what makes that funny is the tension. Right? It's like there's a tension behind it. And I also – like what happens as soon as the cameras stop rolling between these two people? You know, the amazing thing is about the difference between a clothed person and a naked person is if you take the clothes off, suddenly we become very confused on how to grab someone. Yeah. It changes the yeah. whole rules yeah. of yeah. engagement. Yeah. <laughs> You know, the but, so it's 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 something that's jarring you. Yeah. Uh, as far as because they're breaking character, they're going beyond the NPR chuckle. Yeah. And they're getting real. Yeah. They're getting real. An- another show like I love is uh, Impractical Jokers. Yes. That that I could watch that. I have wa- I have spent entire days of my life doing nothing but watching Impractical Jokers. <laughs> well, have you ever heard the thing where they talk about? Like, uh, I forget who the other comedian is, but they say the opposite of Jerry Lewis in that uh, Jerry Lewis is funny when he's trying to be serious and somebody <laughs> else is serious when he's trying to be funny. It's kind of the opposite curse. Yeah. You know? Yeah, exactly. That's uh, why every person in the world who knows about it is waiting for um, the release of The Day of the, the Day of the Clown Cried, which is the movie Jerry Lewis made that he buried. Yeah. Yeah, everyone I says every, I people I ha, some people have seen it secretly have seen it. Harry Shearer saw it from um this, this is Spinal Tap. That yeah, guy. he he saw it. I actually met him at an event and I asked Harry Shearer about it because I, I heard he saw it and he said it's the greatest thing he's ever seen in his life. He says but- it's so it is so poorly thought out <laughs> and tasteless, but se- it's so it is so poorly thought out it is so completely wrong it is so poorly executed that you cannot stop watching it but it was it, so it's like a train wreck it is a, he he said it's the most beautiful train wreck the uh without going into detail mm-hmm. because even though this is a podcast there there still are children yeah. and yeah. and animals listening mm-hmm. and uh the aristocrats you want know i don't i've never seen it I, I swear to God, I don't know that joke. How can you not know that joke? I avoided it. I have somehow I somehow managed to avoid it. I that is like the secret handshake yeah. of comedians. I know. I don't want it. I don't know it. I, fe- I didn't see it. I didn't see the movie when it came out. And it's one of the things everyone kept telling me, you have to see this. You have to see this. You have to see this. That became a point of – a point for me not to see You it. didn't want to give in. Yeah. Well, see, the thing... I should watch it tonight. I I'm did. probably going to watch it tonight now. I, I watched it after hearing about it, and I didn't... The joke is irrelevant. What I liked about it is that it was a history, and you had all these comedians yeah. performing one joke, and you yeah. got to see style, that jazz exactly. part of it. Yep. That was the interesting part. The joke didn't mean anything. It's just how everyone approached it differently. Everybody approached it differently. That's the part I would. That's the part I probably would get the most out of from. Like that's the, the only part to get out. Just taking philosophical approach to joke construction. And even that wasn't the part. The real part was watching. Robin Williams talk about himself laughing at Jonathan Winters performing the joke. Mm -hmm. And Jonathan Winters appear and somebody saying, Oh, you got to see Bob Saget's performance of it. Yeah. And that was the interesting part of it. Yeah. 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 That was the interesting part of it. Yeah. Uh, Dude, is your wife into comedy at all? Um, My wife is not a performer, but she is very, very funny. Can you make her laugh? Anytime I'm working on a bit and I go over the material with her, if she laughs, it has a 100% right. success rate in front of an audience. If she doesn't laugh, it it might work. It might not work. She has a 100% success rate if it works. It, it's, it is foolproof. It, does, it never like, – I, I just did a show a couple weeks ago. My friend uh, Giannis wrote him – my friend Giannis and his uh, friend, they've been submitting cartoons to The New Yorker for like 20 years, <laughs> and they all involve a penguin. 
And they've all 